So for today's review, I've got these military die casts, these 1944 M4 Sherman tanks with modifications. This one has got wading gear on the back and this one's got a bulldozer. So today we're going to look at the details of each one, what I think of the model and what it's made of. But first impressions as a summary, really happy with these, um, very weak gun parts here and this is like a plastic turret. It does feel a bit flimsy, which is a shame. And this is more of a model than what you'd call like a die-cast toy because uh, of the fragile parts of it. So yeah, one's got to be really careful with these. Uh, but overall, they do look fantastic. Lots of little details. And I like the fact that these are bigger scaled than what you would see if Hot Meals made it or Matchbox or Johnny Lightning. They are slightly bigger. And you know, because of that, it's great to have a tank and put it next to a car and not have it not have the car be the same size. So yeah. Overall, pretty happy with these. Let's take a look at the packaging for these two. So for this one, this is the 1944 M4 Sherman tank with bulldozer. And it comes in quite a secure box. I think I'll keep this bit when I open it to keep it for safekeeping. Uh, series 2, Battalion 64. It's got some artwork here, texture. And then on the back, we've got a list of the others in the series here. And I'll show you can see the last one, Jeep Gladiator Willies. And it's quite, that's it really, no pictures, website. 14 plus because the parts are quite fragile and this is the same model but with the wading gear which look which is here on the back so and again very similar packaging and design and on the back it's pretty much the same so yeah they're part of a set i didn't get the others because i I was just primarily interested in these tanks, but maybe I'll get the others later on. So let's get these open. Well, that took a while to get them out, but here we are. So this one is with the wading gear and you can see we've got like a rubber track. I'm not sure it does turn, but not very well. So each of these parts has been made to rotate around so they're all wobbly but it just doesn't flow well that took a while to get them out but here we are so this one is with the wading gear and you can see we've got like a rubber track I'm not sure it does turn but not very well so each of these parts has been made to rotate around so they're all wobbly but it just doesn't flow so in terms of that so this is not really moving these tracks this one is even bent over a little bit so it should be like that so if you pull the tracks they do work but Look at this lot, they're very easy to come off. So, not really sure. I think these are just going to be static models, really, with very limited movement. Um, okay, anyway, enough of that. So, the other moving part is just this top section here. Now, I don't know what they've done here, but they have built the wading gear, this section, to be pretty close kind of touches it so yeah the turret moves like this and it's made out of plastic this plastic is not strong at all and this separate piece here you know it's it's quite fragile and uh, it, it wouldn't survive a drop so these models you have to be really careful and this as well very very thin plastic and it's not strong either and this little antenna thing here so it's, it's more of a model than uh, like a die-cast toy. 
and it's for above 14 as it said on the packet even this jutting out you know it's plastic and I think that um, you know obviously with the Hot Wheels toy you know the toy is just this big lump of metal and plastic and there's not many fine details but I do miss the sturdiness like I think that they could have simplified this model a lot or even you know this bit could have just been die cast you know it doesn't need to just be plastic and it would be amazing if this top part was also die cast then you don't have to worry you know it's like oh I've dropped it it's smashed and then you spend money on these things and uh, it's gone so yeah I would prefer more more die cast to be used and these rubber tracks to be you know think them to think of a solution to add it on so I'll have a look at the bottom it's just very flat sticker there's a little sticker on there but I'm, I'm just gonna leave it for now so it's got some screws so you can always undo it here as well um let's give this a guided tour around the 360 so on the front I've got these I'm not sure what they are metal base metal chassis it's just the turret and a few bits that are plastic so let's have a look at the side now cannonball is that two uh, or a Z? I'm not sure. USA, it's got the some sort of uh, code on there. So from the side, it looks pretty cool. The wading gear. Um, it's got like half a star here, and then from the back, that's what it looks like. And um, we've got some detailing along here, which is nice. I've got to be really careful I don't drop this while I'm turning it around. I'll put it on the turntable later. But we want to have a look. A lot of the details are just from the top, really. So you can see here. Got like the hatches. And various other parts of the tank too. Here we've got some die cast accessories that I used. It's a random piece of plastic there. I'll just get off. So that's that one. So that is the wading gear version. Now let's have a look at the bulldozer version. So here we've got number six and some other codes. Apache. There's more of a full star. I don't know why they didn't do the other two, but never mind. That's that. So similar deal to the other one Whew. I don't want to drop these things but it's been glued on here you can see that glue this again these tracks very easily come off they do turn but I don't I don't want to risk it for now so this doesn't move up or down it's just kind of stationary just glued on the very limited movement just that's it it would have been cool if uh, it could go all the way to the top uh, which could act as like a kind of roof shield but you know for what it is the detail is pretty good you can see the back of the bulldozer here uh, now this main cannon is even thinner than this one so you know you have to be extra extra careful with this because this is this is so bendy I mean and it's just glued on here you could easily just break this off so Green light, I would prefer if you made something a little bit more sturdier because, you know, uh, you know, die cast is different to have like a modeling hobby, although they're quite similar in, you know, having scale models. One of them is definitely sturdier than the other. Um, and so, yeah, it'd be great if this was actually just cast out of metal, really. Um, so anyway, let's carry on. So on the side we can see all the mechanisms here for the tracks, really cool. And the front of the bulldozer we've got number three on. We've got this similar to the other one here in plastic. We've got the star with the white circle around it. And all in all, here's the back view as well. So we've got the tools on the back on this model. And we've got these kind of back flaps here. 
So let me just compare it to the other one. So they're pretty much identical because they're both M4 Sherman tanks. Uh, just a different livery here. It's got this one's got the star with a bulldozer. Yeah, they're pretty much identical. It's just some extra parts that have been added on for the wading gear and the bulldozer. Okay, let's give these guys a spin. Let's do one this way and one that way. Okay, so... I hope they put out some more modern tanks, like the Abrams tanks, that will be really cool to get. And this is brilliant for any military diorama. You can get other brands. I think there's a Johnny Lightning version, but it's so small. It's like one to a hundred. And these are slightly bigger, uh, which is good to say. So if I just pop an, a random 164 next to it, you can see that size-wise, yeah, it's not, I don't think it's 164, even though it says Battalion 64. It's more like a 176, I guess, because they were a bit bigger than this Mercedes. Um, they're maybe very wider as well, I think. But much, much better than, you know, the size of other toy brands that we have, like Hot Wheels and Matchbox when they make their tanks. I mean, some of the there is an Abrams tank by Matchbox, which I think was like a moving parts, and that they the moving parts series are made a bit bigger, which is great. But again, so hard to find; it's a bit ridiculous. Um, and I wish they just made those things in bigger numbers because people want them. And then you know, I don't want to pay a scalper like fifty quid on the internet off eBay just to get it. It's just ridiculous. I can't be bothered. So you know, there is a market and audience for these in die cast like a model no one i don't know who's got you know unless you're a proper hobby um like you know sort of modeler i mean i don't even have the time to glue all these random bits together and then just display it like that i mean it's a nice hobby but some people just want to you know take it out display and play that's it you know you want to get straight to the action and uh you know, the modeler, I think, is more interested in doing it like a jigsaw puzzle where you build it up piece by piece. And But, yeah, I just want to get it done. <laughs> and then I can start messing around with it, like posing for some photos and stuff like that, which is really cool, which is what I'm more interested in. But there we go. So, anyway, that's like a bit of my ramble. And um, But, anyway, I think it's a step forward for Greenlight to be doing more of these military ones. I hope they release some more, depending on the sales of these. Um, I think they've done quite a few Sherman tanks. I think they're doing like a rocket launcher one and there's like a camo livery as well. So that'll be cool to see um, if I can get my hands on that one as well. But yeah, I would like some more modern tanks like the Abrams M1A1. That would be really cool. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think doing this hobby, there's there's like several niches. There's like people who just collect supercars and then there's like die cast guys who collect, you know, the cars of their generation when they were younger because they have like nostalgia for it. And then you get guys who just collect like military diorama stuff. And it's all, um, it's all very niche in their own category. But actually, I, I quite like several different cast, you know, vehicles from various categories. So, yeah, really, really glad to see these. And especially at the bigger scale too that they are. Great. Well, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more reviews. Until next video. Just going to do a quick just a better view of the smaller tripod really but yeah these tanks they look cool and I love these modified parts on them there is the basic one which I saw um, but I like 
the bulldozer, the wading gear, and there's the rocket launcher as well. They look really cool all together. Uh, and I look forward to taking some pictures of those.